Hello BC team, it is 6.20 and we have 24 hours to make this day count. So this day is divided in two main parts. The first one is actual work and responsibilities that I need to go, my university and a meeting with a member of the BBC squad. The second one is theoretical free time and the important part is what we can do during this time. But for now, let's go for a run. So this is not a great day, but the important part is to go for running every single day. This is important because it keeps you hooked in the process. And when it comes to exercise, it is really easy to just stop doing it. So of course in my free time I will work, but the important part is how I will manage this time. First of all I will start with the most important part of all, teaching yourself. So I will start with a course in neural network that I wanted to do. Okay, so I will wrap it up because it is 7.05 and my meeting starts at 7, so I am already 5 minutes late. I finished with the meeting, I took a power nap and right now is 10.50. So right now I want to make a small change and then start working. So unboxing time. What do we have here? Okay, uh, we have here one, two, three of them. And I will show you only one. This one. So let's change. I think that this will be one of my favorites. This is it, so let's start working. Right now I need to go to the university. I actually have 45 minutes to be there. However, I need to leave early because my sister will go to a lesson and I will go to university. About free time. My main goal is to not have any. For me, my main objective is to fill my day with as many stuff as I can in order to get the most out of my day. So I actually call free time when I'm not in university, I don't have meetings, and in general when I work on something that I don't love. So during this free time, I'm trying to do stuff that I'm actually excited about and at the same time help me in my career. So for example, one of the best things that I do is online courses, building my own stuff like neural networks, computer vision, applications, and many more. I will continue this at my university because I don't have time. So my course starts in exactly 15 minutes, so I have some extra time to work, but before that I want to tell you about my actual free time. So my main free time is YouTube and TV series. So I actually love to separate a movie or a TV episode in many small parts. This means that I only allow myself to have 50 to 25 minute breaks. This really helps me to balance my work. So I actually try to work for one and a half hours, two hours, and then have a 15 minute break. This can be a power nap, which I will talk about in another log, or I can actually watch a YouTube video, a part of one of my series, and finally a part of a movie. This is the main idea and I will analyze it more later. Let's go to work. I'm finally home. I was at university for only two hours. I had a course in optimization, which was actually really interesting. We work in algorithms that can optimize a mathematical problem. So the first step is to actually find the problem from a theoretical point of view. So you have a general description and you need to transform this into an actual mathematical problem. And the second step is to actually solve this problem with programming. So we use algorithms like Simplex in order to actually find the solution. So let's talk again about free time. After I came back from university, I needed to relax. So I wanted to have one or one and a half hours of break. During this break, I actually watched some YouTube, film theory and game theory. I love this channel. 
And now I will start again to work. It's actually really difficult to make a quality impact in your work after two or five hours of university. So you need to start with something really easy in order to get the ball rolling. So I'm thinking to start with some simple videos that I wanted to watch about neural network combined with computer vision and then go to my actual work which is to finish a part of my thesis. <laughs> For the past two weeks, I'm trying to fix my schedule. More specifically, I sleep at 12 o'clock and wake up at 6 or 5 o'clock. So this is about 5 or 6 hours of sleep. So my goal is to sleep at 10 o'clock and actually wake up at 5 or 6 o'clock. This actually helped me have a normal schedule with 8 or 7 hours of sleep, which is extremely important in order to have quality study time. Most of the time, and I'm sure most of you go to bed and scroll through your phone or watch TV series like me for 10, 20 or even an hour. So it is vital for me to not lose this precious time, go to sleep immediately at 10.30 or even better 10 o'clock and then wake up tomorrow at 6 o'clock and watch 10 or 5 minutes of my TV series then in order to wake up. So I will promise to you guys not to watch any TV series for today and I will tell you the results tomorrow. See you then. Hello BC team, I just woke up so let's talk about the last part of free time. So I think that one of the most important breaks that you can do is to sleep more. For example, instead of wake up at 6 to wake up at 7, which makes a big difference. This is actually a really important process, especially when you feel unproductive. This small extra sleep will really help you during your day and in your general productivity, especially if you are sleep deprived. So when you feel that for the past 1, 2, 5 days you sleep only 5 or 6 hours instead of 7 and 8 hours, you need to take these small sleep breaks in order to fix your sleeping schedule. I think that this is a really good time to end the log right here because I will go for a run and we are really close to the 24 hour hustle. Don't forget to join the PPC team and as always keep coding guys. Yeah.